All right, Bundy's Garage. Bundy here. Hey, today I'm working on a 2000 Honda Odyssey. Uh, what was happening is the driver's side uh, door was not opening. It would unlock and everything would work, but as soon as you unlocked it, it would lock again. So it was kind of a funky problem in reading up on the internet and everything else I could find out. Um, one thing, I actually confirmed it as well. But uh, So inside where the, um, um, the fuel door... So where the fuel door sits, there's actually a little... Um, sensor in there I already pulled it out you guys can see it right there um, but that when the when the fuel door is open it disables the door altogether so if that sensor fails then your door is not going to open for no matter what you do um, so it would unlock and then automatically lock again because this sensor was bad so to get to this so I had to remove the whole panel on the driver's side uh, rear of the van this will work on 2000s, 99, 2000, 2001, 2, 3, 4, probably higher models in 2004 as well because a lot of these Odysseys, Honda kept the design for these Odysseys for a long, long time. So here's the old one right here, right? And uh, the way I got this out, there was no way that I could sneak my arm in there and I didn't want to take all this. This is all the, the uh, mechanism for the sliding door. I didn't want to mess with that. So what I did, so right here, I actually already took it out. Um, there's two bolts that hold in the uh, rear uh, seatbelt mechanism. This is a 14 millimeter. Up on top is a 10 millimeter. So I got that out of the way, right? There's plastic here. I cut that off. And I just stuck my arm in here. And then I worked it all the way up to the top where I could feel where the sensor's at. And I actually just took it out. LJ, grab that flashlight. Okay, so you see right in the middle of the screen? That's the that's where the fuel door is. My That's my finger right there. So I actually just reached back there and unscrewed it it just clicks into place there's nothing major that holds this thing in all right and then the connector is right here it's kind of a neat design because it doesn't uh it's a there's a cable inside here and once the cable senses a movement this there's a little sensor on the on the end of the cable it actually tells it if it's open or closed pretty cool i'll give you a part number right now for it so the Honda part number you need is 74380-S0X-A01. Now I'll install it the same way. Go ahead, I'll bring my arm in right through the hole right here. Install it and then put everything back together again. Okay, so I have everything uh, everything dialed back in. Got the new uh, new sensor in. Put the seatbelt back in. Seatbelt uh, mechanism back in. Uh, so one last detail you got to do, and I didn't catch this until it's been a couple days now since I did this, but... Uh, I did not get both tabs in the right spot. So you can see on the right right there, there's one tab. But on the left, which is supposed to be like right there, the tab is stuck behind the stuck behind the sheet metal. So before you button everything up, make sure that you uh, have both tabs on the outside. Not what I did here. I just screwed it up, but it still works. Just wish uh wish I'd gotten that correct the first time. It'll probably snap off after a while. Maybe in a year, six months, who knows? But uh, just make sure you uh, double check your tabs before you put button everything else up. Did the ground for this uh, for this connection right here? I'll put a link in the description below where I should take care of Honda grounds. Also, uh, the cigarette lighter back here wasn't working. The ground was bad. <laughs> Go figure. So uh, just wired in this little ground right there. And now let me check the door, make sure it functions right. I still have to put everything back together, but I want to make sure that the door works before I. Uh, put everything and cover up the sensor. Let's pop the fuel door. Fuel door is popped. Let's make sure it doesn't work. It was locked, so I didn't unlock it. That's why it didn't work right after I shut the fuel door. So, all right, there you go, guys. So if your uh, driver's side door isn't working and uh, you can't figure out why, it unlocks, but it locks itself right away. Uh, probably that switch, the fuel door switch, is uh, stopping it from opening. All right, so if you can, subscribe to my channel. And uh, first one to comment on this video, um, I'll be sending out... Uh, 
some grip tools I got. Send them out to you. Just uh, be the be the first one to comment, and uh, I'll private message you, and then give me your address, and I'll send these out to you. All right, guys, have a good one.